everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So I know that this is a very niche topic, but believe it or not, I've actually been wanting to make this video for a while now because there are actually quite a few almost drowning scenes on Disney Channel, like who would have thought? But it wasn't until I watched the season two finale of Via a few weeks ago that actually pushed me to make this video because spoiler alert, there is an almost drowning scene in the second season of Via. And so I just thought it would fit perfectly into this video. And so here I am today. I also wanted to mention that I kind of wanted to take a more serious approach with this video. Like there are actually quite a few almost drowning scenes from Disney Channel that are kind of more funny and I will be shouting out them near the end of the video but I just found the serious scenes to be a bit more interesting and so I kind of wanted to focus on those ones for this video but there are still a few near the end of the list that are kind of more on the funny side and so I was hoping that like with the list overall it'll kind of become more serious as the video goes on and so yeah you'll understand what I mean after you watch the first clip and so with all that being said let's just jump right into it absolutely Wait, are you a member here? <laughs> oh, dude. So at number 10, we have this iconic scene from High School Musical 2, and I actually wasn't sure if I was going to include it at first because, like I said, it's not really very serious. It's kind of silly, and I don't actually think Sharpay is drowning I think she's just being dramatic and trying to get Troy's attention but it's just such a good scene and one of my favorites from the second movie that I just had to include it anyways and that little wink that Troy gives to Gabriella is just so adorable and so yeah it's just such a fun scene that I had to include it. Ben? Ben? swim? No. You live on an island. Yeah, with a barrier around it, remember? Ugh. And you still try to save me. <laughs> yeah. And do you thank me? No. All I get is soaking wet. And, uh, this fancy rock is yours. Make a wish and throw it back in the lake. So next up we have this scene between Ben and Mal in Descendants and this is one of my favorite moments from Descendants overall. I just love everything about their date as a whole and then this just was such a good part of it. It's right after she sings If Only and so we already know that she has feelings for him and then the fact that she can't swim but she jumps in the water anyways without hesitation is just everything to me and then the fact that he comes and saves her and then the little banter they have where he's like you live on an island it's just like, yeah with a barrier around it and just how like sassy she is in this scene I just love so much and it's just like one of the best moments for Mal and Ben and they're one of my favorite Disney Channel ships and so yeah I just love this scene and yeah that's all I have to say. All right, so you guys know what this means. This scene, as well as another one on the list, got this video copywritten, which means that the video got blocked in all countries, which really sucks because I went to all this effort to fandom both of those scenes, but it still had my video blocked in all countries, which didn't really make any sense to me because I figured that was transforming the media, so that should be fair use, but I still feel like my channel's a little bit on the smaller side, and so I don't really want to risk anything yet with, like, disputing any of the claims, especially when I don't really have that much knowledge on, like, what actually is fair use and what is not fair use, and so I figured that's fine. You know what? I'll just post Post the scene somewhere else so you click the link in the description down below maybe I'll post them on my Twitter or something and then you guys can watch them because I worked really hard on these fan dubs and I feel like they are pretty funny and so yeah click link in the description down below to watch them I guess I could have just posted like the actual scenes somewhere else but then I feel like that's just straight up copyright like at least like my fan dubs are a little bit more on the fair use side um yeah either way you can go watch the scene if you want and then I'll come back for the other one that also got copywritten. So next up we have this scene from the first episode of Soy Luna and I feel like this scene and just this episode overall is just so well done it's definitely one of the best ones from the series. I remember watching this episode for the first time a few years ago and I was just in awe by everything that was happening and then this scene happened and it was just so much and I was like oh my gosh what is happening and why am I obsessed with it? I just feel like it was so different 
different from anything else I'd seen from Disney Channel before and so that's probably why I just completely fell in love with it. And then it gets even better when you hear more about the behind the scenes things that happened for this episode and this scene in particular. I believe in the documentary they said that they weren't even planning on having Luna fall in the pool in that moment but then Carol tripped and then they're like oh my gosh let's do that which thank god they did because it made for such a good moment. And then it's also funny to hear more about Ruggiero and how they wanted him to dive in the pool but he didn't really know how to do that and so he just kind of like jumps in really awkwardly but then they ended up cutting it up really nice so like you can't even tell in the episode but it's really funny when you see the behind the scenes footage of him just like jumping in the pool really awkwardly and then of course I love it because it is just such a good Luteo moment like how he jumps in and saves her and then when she says soy luna at the end and then later on in the episode when he gives her back her necklace and they have that little banter I just love them so much and the fact that this is like how their story started I just feel like makes them even better hey come on move it we've got waves to catch I think I just hang it up well you know line the head stop come on it'll be perfect just like before come on Get my mom. Go get Malia. Hurry. Is it that bad? You'll be okay. I mean, a little ding, but no permanent damage. So at number seven, we have a scene from Rip Girls, and I bet you thought you wouldn't hear me talk about this movie again on my channel, but here we are. I actually think this movie is the one that gave me the idea originally to make this list, because I think I'd already seen a certain amount of decoms at this point that when I got to this scene in this movie, I was like, there's gotta be enough almost drowning scenes now to make a top 10 list, and yeah, I was right, so thanks Rip Girls. If you haven't seen this movie or my decom ranking videos, it's basically about this girl who goes to Hawaii and learns how to surf. Obviously there's lots of other stuff that happens in this movie, but that's really all you need to know to understand this scene. I just feel like this scene is a pretty good one as far as drowning scenes go it's very dramatic I feel like it's kind of funny at times like for some reason when she's like getting pulled away from the wave and she like goes like ah it makes me laugh I don't know maybe just because you can tell that she's not saying that it's clearly her voice being dubbed over on top of the thing and then I also just love how like this guy is like way over at the skateboard ramp but he somehow sees that she's like drowning and so he's like I'm on the way with his like cast <laughs> I just feel like it's funny and then also when she sees the light I just feel like it's so dramatic but good at the same time and so yeah that's Rip Girls I feel like it's a fun movie I wouldn't recommend watching it like it's all right but I don't love it uh but yeah I just thought it was a perfect scene to include in this video Poppy? Uh -huh. I knew it I knew it was you all along uh, wait is all this goop you ew 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 you don't even recognize your own magic when you're swimming in it. This stuff is the magic? It was. Until I got here. Oh boy, that's not good. Mom, we've got a problem! Only I can speak to her now. Hello, Moon. Toffee. <gasps> Give us back, Star! Oh, of course. But I'd like something from you first. Something that belongs to me.
take it. No, Mom, stop! I can take him! Just hold on, please! <laughs> <laughs> Poor little butterfly. You've lost your wings. Now, your majesty, do we have a deal? Goodbye. Number six is this moment from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and this is another one that was one of the first scenes that came to mind for me, but I also wasn't too sure if I should include it because it is the only animated one on this list and I just wasn't sure if it fit in very well, but I'm just a really big Star fan and I feel like this scene is just such a good moment from the show and so I just had to include it. If you haven't seen Star before, you're probably very confused as to what was happening in that scene and it has been a hot minute since I've rewatched the show, but I will try my best to explain what was going on. Basically, Star is a magical princess from another dimension and she has this wand where her magic comes from like that's why she's magical it's because she has this magical wand and so the wand has this whole realm inside the wand which is like where the magic is and so toffee the evil guy has taken over her wand and so in this scene we see her inside the wand realm realizing that toffee has taken over and is ruining her magic and so that is what's going on it's a lot, but it's just so good. It was such a good moment in the show. It was like the intro into the third season and it was just so much was happening. It was so overwhelming, but just so good at the same time. I just feel like Toffee is definitely one of the best villains from the show overall. And this is just an example as to why. He had this like evilness to him that I feel like none of the other villains really matched. So yeah, I just feel like the scene was so well done. I remember watching it for the first time when this was airing and just being like so overwhelmed and stressed for like Star and what was happening. Like I knew she wouldn't die, but like I was also like low key scared that she was about to drown and like what was happen if star drowned like i had no idea and so yeah i just feel like it was just really well done and i love it yeah it's a great scene if you haven't seen star definitely check it out all right so this is the other scene that got copywritten so you can click the link in the description down below to go watch it because it was a lot of fun also i just wanted to mention i mean you probably noticed this if you watched my soy luna fan dubbing but i'm not very good at like putting voices on for other characters and so i just think it's kind of funny that like it just sounds like there's a bunch of me's in a room talking to each other um yep that's all i'd say bye enjoy my joacus fan dub so at number five we have a scene from joacus and i actually haven't watched all of joacus i've only seen like five or six episodes but when i was making this list i was like there has to be an almost drowning scene and from joacus like if you haven't seen the show it's basically like about surfing and so i was like there has to be something and what do you know i was right <laughs> and it was actually hard for me to find a good clip to include for this video because this whole like surfing competition thing happens in the span of the 20 minute episode and so piecing together bits was a little bit hard because it was just such an intense moment and so I hope I was able to convey how good it was in this video. Basically after the scene that you just saw they're like surfing coach guy comes and he's the one that ends up saving Rafa and it's like super intense the music's going and like I'm stressed even though I know that he does survive and yeah I haven't even watched the show but I can admit that this moment was a really good moment and I just had to include it. Can you get it? Not yet. This is pretty tough stuff. I will, though. <laughs> You're getting it. You've almost got it. I almost got it. Come on, Edith. Please. It's coming. 
So number four, we have this scene from A Ring of Endless Light, and this is another movie that I talked about in my decom list. And I don't really have much to say about the movie overall, like it's basically about this girl who can like talk to and understand dolphins, and then there's also a love triangle, and yeah, that's really all you need to know to understand this scene. I just love how chaotic this moment was, like the girl gets pulled into the boat for what reason, I don't know, and then five seconds later she's back in the water saving him, and then Ryan Mary Man's like seeing the light, and also a mermaid for some reason, or is she the mermaid? Or is he just like hallucinating? I have no idea, but it's just so chaotic and I love it. Then you also have like the guy from uh, Gilmore Girls and Supernatural, I think, just like in the boat, not really doing much. Like, I guess he has to like watch over the boat, but I'm just like, I feel like he should be doing more to help. And then at the end when he's like, yo, don't scare me like that. When it's like, sorry, next time I'll try not to drown. I mean, I guess that's the joke, but I'm also like, this isn't the time to be making jokes, buddy. You also were no help whatsoever. Like he could have died and you're just like chilling up in the boat, you know? <laughs> but overall, I feel like it's a good drowning scene, which I feel weird saying, but like, yeah, it was entertaining. So what more could you want? What's up? How'd you know I was gonna be here? I knew you couldn't stay away from surf like this. Brady, I'm glad you came, but I told you. I just came to watch you surf, not to propose. Okay. Check out what I'm about to do. I like the looks of this guy, Brady. Yeah, check it out. You're right, that doesn't look good. She's gotta get in. This looks bad.
is she doing? She's not paddling in. This isn't good. Next up we have this scene from Teen Beach Movie and I was actually unsure if I was going to have it this high up on the list because we all know that they don't actually drown like you're not scared for them because you know that they are going to go into the Teen Beach Movie but I still feel like it is a really good and intense scene and has all the characteristics of a good drowning scene you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that this theory has been said before, but I do think it is interesting to think about like what if Mac and Brady did drown in this moment and then they ended up in the afterlife and for some reason their afterlife is a 50s movie because <laughs> why not? Oh, or if it was like they both got trapped in a coma together and then their joint coma is like the, a 50s movie. <laughs> I don't really know how comas work or if that's possible, probably not, but either way, this is why I don't do theories because I'm not good at them. Uh, but yeah, the scene's really good, very intense, 10 out of 10, it's a good scene. Jess, what are you doing? Hey, get away from there! I can't believe I'm doing this! Number two, we have this moment from the 13th year, the best decom about mermaids. It's also the only decom about mermaids, but that's not important. <laughs> this scene is definitely one of my favorites from the movie overall. I don't know how realistic it is, like for someone to not be able to swim, but then just jump in the water and be like, I can swim. Maybe he was like going off of adrenaline or something, but it just made for such a good moment in the movie that I'm not mad about it. And I'm also just now realizing how similar this scene is to the scene in A Ring of Endless Light because they both get their foot trapped in the net, but that's okay. Part of me kind of wishes it was Cody's mom that would have
would have saved him instead of Cody just because I don't know he saved her life so it would have been cool if like she returned the favor instead of just swimming away but either way it's cool that it's Cody too because he's like learning how to be a mermaid and such and yeah it's just such a good moment near the end of the movie and so if you haven't seen the 13th year definitely check it out. So before we move on to the number one scene there are a couple more that I just wanted to give a quick shout out to just because they were too funny to make this list but I feel like they were still good scenes and so I wanted to give them some recognition. First of all the scene from Starstruck where Christopher falls into the lake and then she's like oh no Christopher but then he's like ah and then pulls her in with them and then she's like oh no I can't swim but then she's just teasing him and then they have that really cute moment in the water and then there's also that scene from the lodge where they're all kayaking and then suddenly all the girls are in the water and they're all freaking out and then Sean's like sorry Danielle like pushes her into the water on his way to save Sky and then it's just everything was so chaotic and I love that scene as well and then lastly there's a couple scenes from The Sweet Life first of all from The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody where London is learning how to swim with Lance and then she gets in the pool and she's like oh no I'm drowning and he's like no London just stand up and she's like oh and then there's a scene from The Sweet Life on deck where they were doing their Titanic parody where Zach falls into the hot tub and then he's like oh no Violet and then Mosby's just like you're literally in the hot tub just stand up also quality scenes 10 out of 10 I'm sorry they couldn't make this list but they're in my heart forever for being iconic drowning scenes. <laughs> Siempre me gustó imaginar lo imposible. Ver mi vida como una hoja en blanco en la que puedo dibujar lo que quiera. Y ese día, lo que más deseaba en el mundo se hizo realidad.
So at number one, we of course have the scene from the season two finale of Bia. And this scene is one that no matter what I'm doing, I will cry if I watch it. Like even for this video, I was translating it and I was sitting there crying just because I feel like it's so well done. Just the way that Bia yells Elena at the end of it just gets to me every time. Like we waited over a hundred episodes for this moment and I feel like it was done perfectly. For those of you who haven't seen Bia because maybe you don't speak Spanish or you don't keep up with the telenovelas even though you should. So basically Bia is at this party and she overhears through the speakers the voice of her sister singing a song that her boyfriend wrote quite recently. And this is a big deal because as far as Bia knows, her sister died in an accident over 10 years ago. And so the fact that she's hearing her sing this song right now is kind of overwhelming her, which is like very understandable. And then also leading up to this moment, Bia was talking a lot about how her sister was always there to save her. And there was a lot of like symbolism with like her grabbing her hand. And she was like drawing this mural in her bedroom that was their hands to showcase that. And so the fact that her sister is the one who comes and saves her by grabbing her hand just made everything come full circle. And it was just so beautiful. And I just feel like it was done so well how Elena was the one to save her and how in that moment she realizes that she's alive and she's someone who has actually been a part of her life these past few months and she has always felt like they had a connection and so now it just proves how strong that connection really is and it's just such a beautiful moment and I feel like I couldn't have asked for a better reunion and although I feel like we do need a third season because there still are so many unanswered questions if this is where the show is gonna end I feel like it is such a high point to end on like Bia and Elena are reunited and that's really the main thing that mattered to me like I wanted them to be together by the time that the show ended and that's where we are but like I said I do feel like we need a third season and there still are so many things I have questions about. I'm sad that we never got to see the reunion of Elena and her parents and just like what this means now for their life. Like now that everybody knows that Elena is alive, like how is this gonna change everything? I would just really would like there to be a third season so we can find out. But I guess we just have to wait and see as nothing's really been confirmed by Disney yet. So that is my favorite uh, almost drowning scene from Disney Channel. Let me know down below which scene is your favorite or if there's another scene that I didn't include on this list that you like, let me know down below. I can't read it all about it. Anyways, Cater Tots, that's all I have to say for today. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very, very soon.